For internal fluid flows, we usually start with the volume extraction so that we can have a fluid volume to simulate on. Let's hide all the other bodies by right clicking on manifold body and then selecting hide others from the menu option. To extract the fluid volume, you can go to the prepare tab in the top ribbon and select volume extract from the generate section. From the left side of the heads up display or HUD, you can click on select faces to select the capping faces that enclose the volume of the area. Alternatively, you can also click edges to select the edge loops that enclose the volume of the area. Similarly, you can select all the other faces in this geometry to mark all the capping faces inside which your fluid volume is going to create. Next step is to select the seat face. That could be any face within the volume you want to enclose. Here I am selecting one of the internal faces. Before moving forward and hitting the check mark, let's preview how our volume is going to look like. And to see that, here I am going to use the Preview Inside Faces tool from the right side of the heads up display or HUD. But I can see that it is giving me an error. And if I click on the green check mark, it is also giving me an error and it is not at all allowing me to create a volume. Here at the bottom left, we have a message icon. And if I click on the same, it is going to open messages section. Here I can see that it is giving me an error message stating that edges are not on the same body. And it could be because of several reasons like a small gaps in the solid body or there could be a misalignment which are really common in the world of CFD simulations. To fix any of these issues, we have different tools in the repair tab and prepare tab. First, let's check for any small gaps that can impede water tightness in the model. To check the clearance in the model, go to the prepare tab and select the detect tool to identify any clearances sharp edges, bad faces, and so on. You can use any of these tools based on the problem you are facing. Here, I suggest starting with the clearance tool. If we find any other errors while doing volume extraction, then we can switch to any other tool like holes or etc. From the drop-down menu, select the clearance tool. Sometimes it is difficult to see any small clearances from the naked eye but with the clearance tool it shows that there is a clearance highlighted in red you can then select any of the two faces and use the move tool or pull tool in the design tab to move the face to the next face to close the gap select up to and then select other face and it will pull that phase up to the second phase. Since we close the gap, let's try to do the volume extraction again. Select all the faces in which our fluid volume is going to be enclosed. and then select a seed face, which is one of the internal faces. Let's preview the fluid volume again using preview inside faces from the right side of the heads up display or HUD before hitting the check mark. Here you can see that there are no leaks and everything is enclosed within the solid volume. If there are any leaks, then your solid body is also going to be colored red and you can use the slider bar to identify where the leak is happening. For now, we are good. In the next lesson, 
we will review the basics of setting up a fluid flow simulation.